Christine, you've taken up the cause for these women. Is this, I mean, what's, what, what is, how have they enlisted you? Is it, is it do you believe the, another stolen generation, a stolen white generation this time? Well, the women I've spoken with did not give their informed consent. They signed under duress, they were not informed of their rights. And as outlined by Diane, it's very, very clear that what happened to a vast number of women could be classified as illegal, absolutely illegal practice. Do you see parallels to the case of the Stolen Generation, which we've all heard so much about in the last few months? Yes, I've, I've referred to the book um, prepared by the Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission, Bringing Our Children Home. And the definitions of duress in that book could be equally applied to the women, the white women, who have had their children adopted. Elspeth, you worked um, at Crown Street, yes. which was the hospital in New South Wales where half of the adoptions in this state That's occurred. Right. Right. Is there truth to this allegation? There is some truth, Jennifer, in the sense that there is enormous pressure on very young, very vulnerable women often uh, to surrender their babies for adoption.